Okay, so today is going to be a video about how to um, make a fun jumping platform. Please like and subscribe and try your best to follow. So let's get right into it. Here we are. So this is my room. I just finished cleaning it up, so I just put everything that's soft up here. So what you want to do is your bed probably looks something like this. You just want to throw all your stuffed animals from you when you were a little kid down. Blah, blah, blah. Leave a techno blade because he never dies. See, he still survived. Look at him. Okay. So you want to just do that until you just... You guys might not be able to do it because you probably don't have a bunk bed. Bunk bed. But if you do, you're in luck. If you don't, just probably just get a ladder. And you could follow along because it requires jumping off the bed. It's so like, get all your creepy Among Us characters off, blah, blah, blah. Make sure you get your pillows off until you, until you have just this. But probably not the same, same sheet, but then go down. I want to make some room for your mattress to be. Or if you're not gonna take your mattress off because it's like really hard to or something, you can just leave your mattress there. But if you can take it off and you wanna take it off and your parents allow you to take it off, here's how to take it off. Then get this in a good spot where you guys can see. That's probably gonna fall. Guys, where do you think this should be? Do you think it should be right here? I don't know. I'm just gonna put you guys in my hand. This is gonna be so hard to do with one hand, but here I go. Oh, I got the perfect idea. I see. No, you probably can't. But. Okay, let's just hold it. Try your best to understand. So you want to get. So your bed is right here. This is where you want to put it. Right there. You want to take the opposite side to be right here, and you want to lift it up. Oh, it's so hard to do with one hand. Can you guys see? I don't know if you can. If you guys can see, I'm gonna lift from the opposite side of the bed, lift it up, and get the opposite side where it was, and then we're gonna be in this position. I'm gonna grab you guys. I don't know if you guys saw that or not, but I was about to find out when I edit this. And then you're gonna push, and then you're gonna just let it flip, let it rip, and you go down. Put this a little bit closer to your bed. Oh. I'll show you when I when I do it. Hey, did it a little bit closer? Oh, these legs are dirty. One second. You can see. Is that good? See everything? What's that say right there? I don't know if you guys saw what I said. Can you see now? Okay, I'm so sorry. Okay. So, now you want to take your pillows. And you want to put them like they're about to sleep. So, you can take your pillows. You just put them like you're sleeping. But do this all the way until you have the whole thing covered with all your pillows. You have a lot of bunch of pillows. It's not gonna fit. Just I don't know. One second. My brother always seals my something. I gotta go get it. Have to get Jerry, big fat Jerry, the giraffe. Got 
Pat Jerry. So let's put Jerry right here. After you do that, you want to try and find one of your biggest stuffed animals. If you don't have any stuffed animals, um, just steal pillows from your mom's room. That always works. They won't care. Probably. So once you have like the basic foundation done, and like your big stuffed animals are filling in these little gaps, I'll tell you guys when I have it ready. This is probably what it should look like for you right now. I'll tell you guys when I have it ready. Make sure all your stuffed animals volunteered for this to happen to them. So you might need to tell them that they're gonna be, well, jumped on. So, let's make, um, we're gonna put all these blankets on top. If you don't have a lot of blankets, you just have like one or two. It's okay, just put both of them on. You wanna take your smallest blanket, then your second smallest one, I think, and then you, this is a pillowcase. And then your first, second, third. Fourth. Fifth, sixth. So take your first smallest one. I'll be a pillowcase or something. Just put it on top of the pillow. You don't really need that one that much. Take your second smallest one. If you have a big bed, big blanket, you might need a friend or someone to help you with this. It's hard for me to carry this iPad while I'm doing it. Good. That's not good. I'm just gonna try it best with my one hand. So, just let this fill a little bit, and it should look something like this. And then you take your other one, your, your next one, that's whatever smallness. You take your next one. I really wish I had a prop to like prop this up. And you put it on top. I'll show you that in a minute. One second. I think that's pretty good. Can you guys see everything? I bet people are saying yes right now. So, you want to take. You want to take this. And you're just going to let it fall. One way to do it. Is you grab it and you just fall off, fall on it. Let's see, it's okay if some people survive. Like people are outside with a blanket, it's fine. Just cover them. And then you want to take your next one. For me, this is this one. I mean, this one it gets hard because you have a big blanket that you you have help with. Don't worry, just. Grab a friend. So, what? Take this and put it where almost everything is being covered by. And if you have some like overflow, like right here, I have some. Fold it in. It's gonna help. if you have a little bit okay my dad's calling me one sec i'm sorry guys they said do i want avocado toast i said no so back to the video take your next blanket if you don't have all these blankets it's okay i personally do so take your next blanket do it the same as you did with the other ones put it on top make sure you break it down the one Below is being covered. And then your last blanket, probably gonna be your thickest one, goes on top. And if you guys just be careful when you're jumping off your bed, 
because you could get hurt or worse. But what's getting worse? What's worse than getting hurt? Oh, okay. But you could. So this just this is under your condition. If you don't want to do this, you don't have to. You can still watch your video to know how to do it in future projects. But this is gonna probably be what it looks like. Stomp on it to make it better and more springy. I would take off your socks, to be honest, because socks are always dangerous. Believe it or not, just put them on it. It will help. I'm not because it's like my only pair of socks. But, so then get on your bed. If your bed's like this, be careful. Just step away from it. And then this is it. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. Just jump down. That was really easy. I did this for living one time. I stayed in here for hours jumping off. You can do some cool tricks. If you have body modifiers, put them away. And then jump more. I'll get a good montage, I think. Of me jumping off the bed. That was a good montage. I think it was. So, would you like a montage of me cleaning this up? I think you would. You can just skip to the till the end. The end will be listed right on the screen right, right now. So here's a montage of me. I'm out of breath. I'm jumping. Excuse me. Cleaning it up. Okay, tell me if that was a good montage. I think it was. I mean, I haven't edited it yet. I'm just saying things. Probably not. Um, so, that's all. Where Techno's gonna become beef. Bye bye.